Hi YouTube, just walking around Witch Bowl because I feel really stressed and anxious. <sighs> I've had a message, a really long, nasty message off Daniel. Um, I've obviously blocked him, but I, I don't know how to do it for emails. Um, he left me a really long message and I just replied back to him, please, just please leave me alone because he's putting really... Putting really horrible things and just it's really stressing me out and making me anxious and oh, just walking around which bowl with Lee. Lee's going back tomorrow to sign the contract to move to a flat on George High Street. Oh, yeah. Um is this the way we walked the other day. I just feel like I need to have a walk because I'm feeling really anxious and stressed. Uh, I don't think he understands at all my anxieties and my, sh my, my anxiety attacks and everything. And he just really doesn't understand me as a person. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so. He's very straight for a, for a gay for a gay or bisexual man. I'm not sure which one he is, but he claims to be gay. But for for a gay man or for a bisexual man, he's very straight. A lot more straight than me. I mean, I'm I'm way more. He's very insensitive. A lot of gay people are sensitive. I know I'm very sensitive, but he's very insensitive. I just I don't know what to say really. Um, I haven't showed you the message, have I, Lee? No. No. Uh, I've been worrying about all day. I've been worrying all day. Do I have to read it or not? But I have to read it really, but... Hopefully that'll be it now. If it says, please leave me alone, so hopefully that'll be it now. He's gone back to London. And just, uh, yeah, which way's up there? I'm just walking around Witch Bold. These are the newer houses in Witch Bold. I think this has a dead end, Lee. That's a dead end up there. Pardon me. It's a dead end that way. But, um, I just needed to get that. Actually, no, we haven't been in. What am I I was about to say we need to get that flat, but I've been out all day. But. Oh, we need that house, aren't we? It's hard to, but, eh? We need that house. What house? Where we knocked on that door that time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah, yeah knocked on that door. So I was begging them to take. I was begging the first to take me to the police station, yeah. I get really bad anxiety attacks and he just doesn't understand it at all. Just not at all, not even slightly. It's like, I can't help having anxiety attacks. It's like, well, I can stay single. I can help having anxiety attacks, stay single. That's the, that's the answer. So, we're here. Hope no one minds me. Hope no one minds me filming their houses. Cause like, I like doing my YouTube videos. So. Oh, trees fell down there. He says he'd never forgive me for getting the police, but I felt like, what other choice did I have? I felt like he wouldn't leave the, the flat and just I just panicked and just... I just started panicking and just, I don't know. Um, well, the tree fell down, are we going to go that way? We'll have to go around this way instead. I just panicked and I thought we might, I don't know. Have you ever felt like that, Lee? Scared in your own home? Yeah. Yeah, who, who did that? When I was a child. Oh, when you was a child? I don't know, my anxiety takes over and I just feel like I need to 
I just feel like I'm not in control of the situation. I just like like I can't cope with the situation. I can't cope with arguing. Or I don't know how I'd cope with it if the other person had their own home. I'd probably just walk out, which is what he used to do, but he didn't seem to know so much. He just seems to argue. Whereas I can, in some, eh? Hey? Because you had my flat to go to. Yeah, yeah, but in some ways I could cope better then because he, he would walk out and that helped me to cope better but now obviously there's not that option available so at the moment, yeah there's not that option available because you haven't got your own place at the moment you're sort of squatted you know, you're sort of living in a hostel in Melbourne aren't you? Yeah. Until, until tomorrow until you get yeah, but um, I've gone off issue now but I could cope with that when he used to walk out. He'd walk around to yours. I mean, I did used to feel a bit hurt because obviously I thought, like, that he didn't want to be with me. But I can't really... But I found that easier than what what's happening at the moment with him just just arguing and then I just shut down and feel like I can't cope. And... He says he'll never forgive me for doing that, but that's fine. I can't... I can't help how I am, it's who I am, I can't help, I can't change who I am, I can't, I can't be the person that, the, the, the strong, indestructible person that he wants me to be, and would he even be attracted to that strong, I don't know, I just, it's just me who I am, I'm, I'm a sensitive person, and that's always going to be the case. You know, and he should have known that before before he come up here because he saw me actually crying when I was in where did we go? Skegness. Yeah. Hang on, we were, were there to see when we walked through the woods. Uh, Try it. Um, walk. Um, Skegness. I was on. I was skyping him, and I was crying on the Skype um, about different things that were going on at the time. And um, so he knew. He knew I was sensitive. He must have known I was sensitive, but it's because he hasn't properly lived with me, you see. He's lived at least for 15 months. Is it 15 months, Lee? Yeah. Lived, lived with Lee for 15 months. So, you know, so I can't, I can't change who I am. That is just me. I am a sensitive person. I will always be a sensitive person. Sensitive, compassionate person. That's all. I'm always going to be that per that person. And just, yeah. I mean, that's that's who I am. I can't change it. So, yeah. So, okay then. I don't know what else to say really. Alright, peace out people, peace, 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 peace. peace.